now. We're live. Good morning, everyone. Pete Cohen here. This is a show. This is where I show up. You're showing up. You're showing up right now. You're amazing. You're fantastic. You are super. You are incredible. Uh, and I think it's time that you all realize that. I think it's time for a big wake up call uh, today of all days. Uh, we need to stand up and be counted. Who's with me? Are you with me or are you with um, the Woolwich? Some of you have got no idea what I'm talking about. I uh, just need to share this in one other place and then we'll get stuck into this broadcast this morning and share some great content to help you guys be uh, amazing. My365 is the way. My365 is the way for you to be amazing, for you to be incredible, for you to be fantastic, for you to be the very best version of yourself. Good morning, everyone. Hope you can all hear me loud and clear. Tell us where you are in the world. What part of the world are you in right now? Uh, if you want to send us some hearts, send us some love, send us some thumbs up. You are here. And as I said yesterday, in a field uh, in Maidstone, uh, saying to you guys, look, what we have to wake up and realize is the obstacles are the way. That's what defines us. And the bigger the obstacles that you go through, of often the biggest learning, the bigger you grow. It's the only way you grow. You might want to write this down, but nothing grows in your comfort zone. No one had really achieves anything of any great significance without actually taking action. And what I'm about to say to you today, I believe is going to uh, be a massive, massive game changer for many of you. I'm going to be dropping a few uh, kind of mind bombs for some of you just to really wake up, look back, look up, look down, observe and see your life from a different perspective. Because you know and I know that's when people change. People change when their perspective changes. And look at all the people we have all over the place right now who are showing up saying, this is who I am. Let me ask you this question, please. And I mean this straight from the heart. Does your life matter? Does your life have any significance? Does it have any meaning? Now, some people will say no. You say, okay, well, then give it some meaning. This is why so many people are lost because they don't have a meaning. And if you don't have a meaning, which means you don't – a meaning that makes you get up every day and move forwards, if you don't have that, then when obstacles come your way, you're going to get knocked over by them. But the fact is you're still here today. You, you, you. We're all here today because of what we've been through. How many of you have been through adversity? How many? It's what defies it, defines us. You might have had adversity even just in being born. I was. The adversity that – uh, my mom had to have a, a cesarean. You know, I was in a, in a in an incubator, an incubator. I think that's what you call them, not an incubator. That's the wrong thing. I was my mom wasn't able to hold me for quite a while. Um, you know, I wasn't I wasn't the way I was supposed to be. Obstacle. I didn't even know that I was going through that at the time. Uh, on one level, I didn't, but you know, I made it through. And I, if you saw my life, you'd see obstacle after obstacle after obstacle after obstacle after obstacle. You know, and this is what life is all about. It's like this stupid game of golf. Now, I'm playing in a, in a golf tournament today, 36 holes of golf. It's going to be challenging, testing. But people play golf because they want to find out how they, – they want to see how good they can be. But the fact is the golf course is designed to trip you up. The golf course is designed that you hit it out of bounds or you hit it in the trap or the bunker. All these terms are essentially associated with war. Your life is like a game of golf. It is going to be difficult. You are going to come across challenges, but it's going to be a lot easier for you when you have meaning. So I want to ask you today, what is the meaning of your life? And if you don't know, put a big smile on your face and say, I want to find out because it's up to you. You see, this is what I want all of you to look at. How many of you over the last few days or weeks have had a big struggle in your life? How many? Just put your hand up. Now, this is, please listen, because you know how much I respect and care for so many of you. But guys, if you haven't shared this, please share it, because people need to hear what I'm just about to say. You see the duck in the corner here, the ducks? People need to hear what I am just about to say. This is one of the biggest things I'm going to say to any of you. And I'm asking you to wake up, wake up, wake up and face a reality. Reality, as Einstein said, does not exist in the outside world. 
We create our own reality. So here we go. Let's pick a book. Let's pick this book. Look, that's interesting. A Little History of the World. My friend, I think Colin Deans uh, gave me this. I can't remember. Anyway, imagine this is your life, okay? This is your life. Not a TV program that used to be on ITV that was famous people and they look at their lives. No, no, no. This is your life. Now imagine that we were looking at the back of the book, which is, you know, the end of the happily ever after. This was a life worth living, right? That's what we all want. We want, let's begin with the end in mind and look back. Now, if you were going to read a book yourself or watch a film and it was all just happy, 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 you might not read it. You might want to find out what did this person go through to become who they are. For me, that's one of the most interesting things of human beings. For me, if I meet you, I'm interested in you. What have you overcome? Who are you today because of what you went through? Yes or no? We're all interested in that, aren't we? Yes. But listen, every chapter isn't always the same. My goal for you today is to start thinking about, this was a tough chapter. That tough chapter could be a day. It could be a week. It could be a month. But it's a tough chapter. So if you think you're going through something now, you think, well, I'm going through a tough chapter, write down the challenges that you have right now, the challenges that you have in your life right now. And look at it. It's, it's just a tough chapter in this book. Now, how are you, over how are you going to overcome that tough chapter? How are you going to go through to the next chapter of your life? Remember what we say in life, you're either in a crisis, moving into one, or you're in you're three. You're either moving into one, you're in a crisis, or you're coming through it. You're through it. What does the word crisis mean? Well, that's two symbols in, uh, in Japan, opportunity and danger. So it's going to be challenging. Life is challenging. Going outside is challenging. To overcome the challenge, write this word down, consistency. Consistency, consistency, consistency. Because if you're going through a tough chapter, what's the one thing? What's the one thing that you can do that you can do? If, if you did that one thing, that one thing, it would put you back on track. What's the one thing or the two things? And we call them my 365, my 365ers, we call them rituals. And that's what this is, turning up every day. So just because you're going through a tough time, a tough challenge, you should say to yourself, great, this is good. This is what I need. I need this because I need to grow. Who needs to grow? Who needs to grow? Put your hand up. You need to grow. You need to grow and you need to learn. And I would encourage you, whenever you go through a challenge, don't disappear. Don't play small. Play big. Show up. This is the challenge I'm going through. Does anyone have any words of wisdom? This is what I'm going through. Because this community here will support you as you go through the challenges of life, the challenges of life. And it, life is often, it seems unfair, it seems, but we all need to grow. So the last thing I want to say to you today, because we're almost coming to the end of this week on obstacles, and you know that the biggest obstacle is what you say to yourself. Remember what we said yesterday about the unity of purpose, the deafness to doubt what you say to yourself, you know? The doubt. You can't do this. You're struggling. You're not good enough. And we talked about the unity of purpose, which is your meaning. This is the equation for overcoming any obstacles. Your unity of purpose, knowing what you're here to do, right? Knowing this, this is what's important to me. I'm here to make people healthy, happy. I'm here to be happy. I'm here to be a better version of myself. I'm here to be an example to the world. I'm here to inspire 100 million people around the world that's why I get up at four o'clock. What about you? It doesn't have to be massive. It can just be something that is important to you. Unity of purpose, deafness to doubt. Doubt what the duck is saying to you. Don't exercise. This is what the duck says to you. You're not good enough. You can't do it. Blah, blah, blah. Deafness to it. Deafness, deafness, deafness. Pardon? Can't quite hear you. Sorry, I can't hear you. See, look, his mouth won't even open now. Look, look. And a desire to keep going. This is the third part of the equation, to keep going, to keep going. So this is it. Listen up. This is powerful. You ready? This is powerful. I'm going to show up every day. You guys can show up every day. If you're watching this now, congratulations. If you're watching this on the replay, what are you going to do with this information? Information is great, but what's power is acting upon information. Write this down. Post-traumatic stress versus 
post-traumatic growth. Post-traumatic stress, stress versus post-traumatic growth. Isn't this great we're doing this? Isn't it amazing that Facebook has given us and Instagram, given us this opportunity for us to work together, to, to, to build together, to create? Think about it. Post-traumatic stress. Two people go through a very similar experience and they come through the other side. Some people are completely ruined by that and st stressed out for it forever. They never quite get over it. Other people, they come through it post-traumatic growth. They grow from what has happened. They take something from it. It might not happen straight away, but it's all about the questions that we ask ourselves. And we're going to look at that, my friends. How about next week we really start looking at questions, the questions you ask yourself and looking to ask yourself much better questions. Are you excited? Are you fired up? Post-traumatic growth, which means how can you grow from what has happened? This is what I want to help you to do, to become a winner, a winner in your life. You are a winner. You're here, but you can become a better winner. They say winners never quit. Losers just give up. They just find a way. Now, I'm not saying you're a loser. I'm saying you're a winner. Let me just check my notes. Because I'm having a good time here. And the last thing I wanted to say, we've covered a lot. The, the key thing here is about the tough chapter, right? I saw someone's video yesterday and said, you know, she, she ran a, a half marathon, I think, and, and then went on a big, a, a bit of a downer and now is bringing herself back up again. That's fine. It's just a tough chapter. What are you going to do? How quickly can you turn it around? One of my heroes is Michael Phelps. Michael Phelps, 18 gold medals. And I'll tell you what he said. He, he uses the word hustle. You've got to hustle, which means you're hustling through the difficult times. You've got to keep doing what you're doing. And it's what you are prepared to do that everyone else isn't prepared to do. I mean, I was up at 3.30 this morning working. I don't expect other people to do that. But my expectation of myself is to be the very, very best that I can be. What about you? What about you? It's just a tough chapter. Let's grow. Post-traumatic growth. And let's hustle, 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 hustle when you don't feel like it. One of the things that we say a lot here on My365 is what has not feeling like anything got to do with it? You think Michael Phelps would say, I don't feel like exercising today. Don't feel like competing today. No, his meaning, his purpose to be the greatest athlete that ever lived, to be the best that he can be, drives him forwards. We need to work on our drive. But we will. We are a family. We are My365. I look forward to hearing from all of you. I want to know, what have you learned this week? What are you achieving? And some of you have really stepped up and stepping up again, taking pictures, making videos, recording, making notes. Is your life worth living? If it's worth living, it has to be worth recording. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I'm excited for tomorrow to summarize everything. And then next week, we're going to look at questioning, helping you uh, ask better questions because the better the quality of the question that you ask, the better answer you'll get and the better action you're taking on a consistent basis. I appreciate every single one of you showing up here today. Uh, you know, the numbers here, you know, there's a lot more of you. I can see that are becoming more and more consistent. And obviously, we've got this big meetup in September. You really want to come to that event, the My365 Summit. Click on that link and see what I'm offering you I'm offering you the opportunity to meet my 365ers from all over the place, but I'm also offering you the opportunity not just to meet me in person, if you have already, great, but giving you the opportunity to meet two incredible human beings in uh, Dr. Rakowski, one of the greatest nutritionists in the world, the creator of the Magnificent Seven or the co-creator of the Magnificent Seven, and also Patty Drobanowski, you know, people who are paid thousands and thousands of pounds uh, to present, and you can come and hear them for a small price uh, and become to the second ever My365 Summit. And we're going to have a massive inflatable duck there, by the way. More, more will be revealed about that. Who's coming to the summit? If you're not sure, just click on the link. Find out what it's all about. It will be amazing. Thank you so much.
Large Inverness crew in the house. Yes, always. Inverness, I see. Johnny Depp is moving to Inverness, so I think we all need to move to Inverness immediately. Remember, unity of purpose, the meaning. What is the meaning of your life? You should write it down every day. It can change. Deafness to doubt and a desire to keep going even when the going gets tough. If you're going through a tough time, okay, it's a just you need to go through it for some reason. You might not see it now, but the learning is coming. Post traumatic growth thank you everyone uh, i appreciate every single one of you i can see some funny comments coming in here right now um it's just thank you everyone it's great to see you know your emojis uh who invented the word emojis in vanessa's in the house there's a lot of places fantastic don't miss the my365 summit take that step it'll be a great thing for a marker for many of you to come in September 23rd, buy the ticket and say, when I come in September, you are going to see a much better version of myself. Thank you so much. Oh, hang on. We've got to do a summary. We didn't do one yesterday. Goodbye, Instagrammers. Are you ready for a quick summary? A one minute summary. Here we go. A one minute summary of today. Here we go. So today is day four on obstacles. And we are looking at the obstacles that many of us face in life. How do we overcome those obstacles? Well, what I was asking everyone today is to see your life like a book uh, and begin with the end in mind, happily ever after, a great life, a life that was worth living. What you're going through, if it's difficult, is just a tough chapter, just a tough chapter. And see the fact that you get through that chapter because you know where you're going. Everyone has tough chapters. What defines human beings is post-traumatic growth as opposed to post-traumatic stress. You can go through and experience two different people. One is traumatized. One comes through it a better person because they ate the dragon that they slayed. We all have this amazing power. Let's hustle. Let's keep going. Let's show up. Let's change the world one person at a time. Your life really does matter. I believe in you, and it's time for you to believe in yourself. See you tomorrow. Thank you for watching, guys. Much love to all. Bye-bye.